Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Apa khabar semua? You guys are watching Great People TV with me bersama dengan saya Hana Ismail dan sahabat baik saya Ben Ibrahim hari ini menuju kepada Hari Malaysia coming to Malaysia Day 16 September 2021 I can't wait and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can't wait too dan ada semangat yang membara-bara Ben How are you Ben? Alhamdulillah now very excited esok Hari Malaysia uh, not just public holiday but yeah lah just syukur that it's you know a great day for the country that we're still okay even though times are tough so yeah lah Rezeki kita Betul, betul Ben Ya yeah, betul tu Tapi sebelum tu Ben Sebelum kita introduce kepada kita punya guest yang sangat Sangat istimewa istimewa sebenarnya hari Malaysia ini Jangan lupa untuk anda follow, like dan juga share kami di Facebook Great People TV Ben, can you please introduce our special guest for today Moving up to hari Malaysia Ben That's right, our, you know a very very special guest Also a very good friend of ours Yang berhormat Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah, who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs once again. Dato, Assalamualaikum, apa khabar and welcome to Great People TV. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, thank you for having me tonight. Yes. Terima kasih kerana bersama kami pada malam ni, Dato. Dato, sihat? Alhamdulillah, sihat. Saya harap Ben dengan Hana juga sihat. Ini musim COVID ni. Uh, kita tak boleh nak kata apa lagi Stay safe lah itu saja Ayat yang betul paling lah, lazim betul. Stay safe yes. kat rumah Datuk <laughs> Stay safe kat rumah kan Mesti korang berdua <laughs> antara bank dengan Datuk ni Mesti lah, dah lama dah nak main sangat basketball kan I dah agak dah <laughs> hmm. Itulah Bola tu dah simpan saya ingat kena pam balik lah <laughs> <laughs> Okey, Datuk, memandangkan esok adalah Hari Malaysia kan, apa sebenarnya harapan Datuk uh, moving up to Malaysia di 2021 ni Datuk? Ya, saya ya, saya ni percaya kepada kehidupan multicultural. Uh, kebetulannya Malaysia adalah negara yang berbilang kaum dan uh, kita alhamdulillah sangat harmoni uh, hubungan baik Uh, kalau ada pun sikit-sikit tu sesekali sekala dan uh, hubungan antara Semenanjung, Sabah, Sarawak juga semakin uh, baik saling uh, mengerti antara satu sama lain uh, namun uh, saya rasa kita masih boleh perbaiki di sana sini selalunya kita kata negara kita ini uh, berbilang bahasa, berbilang budaya, berbilang agama dan kita bertoleransi antara satu sama lain. Saya fikir semangat Hari Malaysia harus uh, menjadi uh, permulaan dan juga setiap tahun kita saling mengingatkan bukan saja kita tolerate, I think we need to celebrate our differences, our diversity needs to be celebrated uh, and and uh, we have to not just tolerate the other, the other mean kalau saya Melayu, the other itu ialah kaum lain but to celebrate the other, to know the other better and Uh, ya, yeah, to, to really uh, apa namanya gunakan semua uh, kekuatan yang ada dalam perbezaan itu. Perbezaan itu kekuatan sebenarnya. Hmm, betul. Datuk, bila cakap pasal kekuatan ni, kalau saya lihat kan Malaysia ni kalau buat kekuatan nak lawan tim lain daripada negara lain especially kalau hari sukan tu bukan main semangat sampai ada rasa nak bully itu pun tim lain tu pun ada. Adakah kita kena gunakan kekuatan kita to channel it into a more positive thing rather than bersatu untuk membuli satu-satu pihak tu? <laughs> ya, dia kalau dalam sukan atau dalam apa sajalah ya. Politik pun samalah Ben, ya. Uh, hmm. dia, dia, bu- dia bukan, dia kekuatan itu bukan brute force uh, dan kekuatan juga hmm. bukan bermakna uh, kasar. Uh, kekuatan itu termasuk uh, kebijaksanaan menggunakan kekuatan itu dengan bijaksana. Macam orang lari maraton, dia tak, dia tak speed dari awal, tak tentu pasal, dia preserve dia punya energy and uh, when you see marathon runners i mean they run in a very beautiful way uh, because they know how to pace their speed uh, preserve their energy jadi kita ni di malaysia ni keunikan kita kekuatan kita itu harus kita uh, gunakan sebaik-baiknya macam anak muda lah kita kata uh, we want our young to be creative uh, we 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 shoot them uh, 
facilitate and empower them so that they can unleash their their full potentials uh, tapi full potential dalam eh, macam tadilah Hana sebut janganlah bully orang janganlah nak nak kutuk orang tapi perbaiki diri dan ya yeah, surely we can do much better nice mm, okay this uh, this nice to the next question lah Datuk sorry nak i very excited mm. excited to ask this question tapi Datuk kawan lama kan go ahead kawan lama kawan lama nak my passport <laughs> tak so we have to pump up the ball you know So, yeah. Chato, I mean, we're not talking about any any pumping because you have come back. We're talking about rebound, okay? Basketball term. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're back to, speaking of rebound, you're back to a ministry that you've worked with before. Uh, two questions. Lah. Number one, what does, it feel, what does it feel like to be back at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? And number two, when it comes to foreign affairs, there's a lot of expectation in the country. A lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, how do you plan to meet those expectations? Not just your ministry, you yourself, Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah, but the Malaysian government. Because Ministry mm-hmm. of Foreign Affairs is one that, you know, touches on many, many things. So, Datuk, cerita lah sikit. Aha, rahsia. Well, it is good to be back. Uh, I mean, uh, it's good to be back among friends in Wisma Putra. Uh, it's, it's a good ministry to serve in. Uh, I spent 22 very good months there. Uh, but the challenges now is slightly different uh, compared to, uh, what, what was it, August uh, 2020. Uh, sorry, August 2018, when I first stepped in into Wisma Putra. Uh, COVID-19 has changed international relations uh, uh, in, in a big way. Uh, I mean, we used to talk about diplomatic, uh, sorry, uh, economic diplomacy as our as the cornerstone of our, of our foreign policy uh, in 2018, and even before that, uh, besides some political uh, issues and Yes, we always have to talk about sovereignty and security, but the cornerstone uh, or the central theme, rather, of our foreign policy has always been economic diplomacy. But uh, with uh, COVID-19, I think now uh, our main focus is really health diplomacy. So it's it's a different uh, story altogether. And and uh, now we are talking about you know those days or in normal circumstances we talk about superpowers. Uh, and their relations with uh, the other uh, smaller countries or smaller nations. But now we are talking about donor countries, recipient countries, and where do Malaysia fit itself? Because uh, on the one hand, we are receiving uh, donations in terms of vaccine, but on the other hand, we are also assisting some countries when it comes to vaccine and equipment. So. Uh, there is a new focus when it comes to foreign policy. But otherwise, uh, foreign policy is fun, really. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, Ben. Datuk, uh, bila cakap? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, if I can continue. Uh, yes. Yeah. One thing that people tend to forget is that foreign policy begins at home. Betul. So, uh, I remember when I was at uh, the Global Movement of Moderates and we were moving the idea we were trying to articulate the idea of uh, moderation uh, whenever we we meet people uh, on international platforms but until and unless your backyard is uh, taken care of then people will say hey then don't talk about moderation lah dekat kampung you kat belakang you uh, you still have some uh, you know discrimination uh, occurring i mean pockets of discrimination but people will people will try and find faults with you. So, yes, uh, we can go to the UN, we can go to the EU and the ASEAN platforms and and try to present, uh, you know, Malaysia in a, in a certain way. But uh, whatever happens at home and especially in times when, in times like today when the social media is widely used uh, people can know exactly as you speak people know hey belakang dekat rumah you dekat kamp apa dekat negara you lain macam je and then here you come and talk about all kinds of things betul 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 yeah. 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 now you wanted to ask a question 
Yes, uh, Datuk, bila Datuk cakap pasal term health diplomacy tu kan, uh, diplomasi kesihatan, satu terma yang saya tak yeah. pernah dengar pun sebelum ini kan, uh, mungkin sejak ialah pandemik, endemik COVID ini kan, adakah ini sebahagian daripada 100 hari KPI Kementerian Datuk uh, selepas sini, uh, menuju pada KPI ni, mesti banyak kerja 100 hari tu bukan kita benar yang uh, yang singkat, uh, tempoh yang lama, tempoh yang singkat sebenarnya. Ya, uh, ada banyak perkara yang kami kena laksanakan. Uh, yang pertama sekali ialah uh, menggubal satu kerangka kerja untuk dasar luar. Ya, ini bukan buat dasar luar baru, ya, dasar luar Malaysia yang baru tak. Tetapi oleh kerana ada penekanan baru dan uh, cabaran baru, jadi kita harus susun balik lah. Ya, susun balik. Banyak yang merupakan uh, kesinambungan, continuity, misalnya dasar kita tentang ASEAN, OIC, tentang uh, cara kita, uh, kita mau berbaik dengan semua negara, It, itu itu remain the same. The fundamentals uh, remain the same. Tapi tumpuan barulah macam, yes, uh, health diplomacy, cultural diplomacy itu benda yang penekanan baru. G digital investment, uh, digital economy investment, itu juga uh, penekanan atau tumpuan yang baru. So yeah, health diplomacy is probably the biggest new focus as far as foreign policy is concerned. Dan ini mm -hmm. adalah akibat uh, akibat uh, COVID-19. So di bawah itu adalah persoalan-persoalan uh, seperti COVID, persoalan seperti uh, science, uh, kerjasama science, kerjasama kesihatan, Kemudian uh, yang tadi saya sebut tadi uh, uh, penyampaian, perkongsian, uh, apa namanya, uh, vaksin dan equipment. Uh, tetapi dia ada juga soal-soal uh, perniagaan. Uh, sebagai contohnya kalau kita membeli Sinovac daripada China dan Pharma Niaga main peranan sebagai the local agent Uh, maka kita berfikir bahawa tentu ini peluang sebenarnya untuk Pharma Niaga berniaga pun uh, dalam bidang uh, vaksin. Uh, bagaimana dan uh, bila akan bermula itu mungkin uh, bukanlah sekarang tetapi uh, ada peluang. Begitu juga bila kita memberi bantuan kepada sesetengah negara uh, dari segi vaksin dan uh, equipment, health equipment, itu sebenarnya satu bentuk uh, bantuan teknikal yang dulu tak pernah kita buat pun. Dulu bantuan teknikal hmm. kita ialah uh, apa nama uh, melatih pegawai-pegawai uh, dari dunia ketiga bawa mereka datang ke KL, mereka duduk sini beberapa bulan dan sebagainya. But but somehow uh, COVID-19 telah mengubah sedikit sebanyak. Uh, bukanlah ubah tu bermakna yang lama dah tak jalan tapi ada benda-benda baru yang kita kena buat dalam foreign policy. Nah, thank, okay. thank you for sharing that, Datuk. Tapi, Datuk, uh, yes. next question lah. Uh, Datuk, you've been a politician for a long, long time. I mean, cerita dah sikit. <laughs> Datuk, I met Datuk in 2010 at a graduate event. Datuk was Deputy Minister of Education. Okay, I met in the mm. hotel dekat KL and then we got along super, super well, Alhamdulillah. Until a friendship that has lasted till today. Not just yourself, but your family as well. Uh, Datuk, what... I mean, from your time as Deputy Minister of Education and then Global uh, Moderate Movements when you were the CEO, and then after that, you were the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and then I mean, now I'm back to Minister of Foreign Affairs again, Minister of Multimedia. In terms of your journey as a politician, what are you most proud of that you have contributed to Malaysia to making our nation a better place? I mean, you've managed many portfolios. I mean, you know, some of the milestones and how we intend to celebrate those milestones to move forward to make Malaysia the best country in the world. It is already the best country in the world, but the best country in the world forever, ever. Well, I, I uh, my stint as a politician, tak lama sangat sebenarnya, uh, starting 2008. Uh, but what I, uh, uh, what I cherish most rather, uh, is is the sharing of ideas uh, among politicians and uh, what make my day would be uh, uh, a good sharing with an opposition uh, political uh, i mean a politician uh, on 
on either ideas or on policy matters. Because uh, on the one hand, our politics are too much uh, of a personality uh, centered. Uh, our politics are too personality centered. Uh, not too many people enjoy discussing policies, discussing ideas. So I, it, it will really make me make my day lah if I were to be able to talk to, especially from the opposition, regardless which party I belong to, uh, and then we share ideas, and and uh, and with this uh, uh, friends. I, I normally, uh, uh, well, we, we, we keep in touch regardless whether he or she is in government or on the other side of the, of, or, I mean, on, on the other side uh, of the, of the uh, political uh, sphere. And then uh, the other thing is uh, our politics tend to be too adversarial. Betul. Uh, perbezaan politik kita terlalu tajam. Uh, orang selalu sebut maki hamun dan sebagainya. Ya, itu 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 the tip of the iceberg. Tapi dia punya sailang, dia punya <laughs> cantas mencatas itu uh, ada waktunya uh, pelik lah. Uh, dan tak sepatutnya berlaku bagi bangsa Malaysia, ini keluarga Malaysia tak sepatutnya begitu. Sehingga jadi musuh. Padahal kita cuma berbeza pendirian politik tak perlulah sampai jadi musuh uh, sepanjang zaman. Uh, jadi sometimes uh, Ben, it can be very lonely, you know? <laughs> lonely at the top, uh, <laughs> well, well, it doesn't matter but lonely in terms of uh, uh, sometimes you find it difficult to share ideas. Betul. Uh, and I'm not claiming to say I have so many to share but or, or so much to share, but as I said earlier, uh, not so many Malaysian politicians are really interested in in in, in the policy matters, in the ideas. Yeah. So, macam tu dato, like how you have worked with many part uh, with, with you know both of, once upon a time the opposition, once upon a time the ruling coalition, you know. So, what is your secret? Because, like you said, kita punya politik ni tajam. Okay, and we like to play the blame game. Okay, I tak salah, you yang salah, and so forth and so forth. And, you know, like like you said, nobody is interested, not, not many people are interested in having the long, detailed chats. But what's your secret in terms of, I can work with you. I, Dato Saifuddin Abdullah, I can work with you to make Malaysia a better place. Because politics, I'll be honest, I can never do it. It's a very, very tough place. How do you sell, you, how do you sell yourself to say, look, Put the egos aside. Let's move forward. What's your secret? Well, you mentioned ego. Probably I don't have much ego. Uh, I mean, uh, to put it bluntly, and probably, yeah, there is always you know enemies in politics. But I don't, I don't, I don't make enemy. I think, and maybe because I'm quite a moderate person. Uh, Yes, uh, you know I enjoy debating, and I can go, I can go hours debating on certain things. But we debate on ideas, we debate on policies. Uh, you, you don't, you don't, you don't attack people. Uh, you, you don't. I mean, I don't believe in character assassination. So maybe because I'm not that adversarial. Probably, uh, I don't know whether that is a, that is a weakness or strength, but. Uh, I, I don't think I have any secret because I tend to be very open and and I like to write. Uh, and the reason why I write uh, is to actually, uh, uh, is to control myself. At least I will be reminded of my own writing uh, rather than people showing me, hey, this is a video of your speech 10 years ago. Uh, I would rather face my own writing and then say, then you wrote this way. 10 years ago, and why are you making certain decision uh, 10 years later? Uh, I, I believe that would be more more useful than, uh, than you know, uh, just people saying, you used to say this, you used to say that. Besides, when you write, you tend to think harder and um, you research more. 
and uh, you are more sober normally when you write. Speaking on platforms can sometimes be a little uh, off tangent. <laughs> you tengok kan, uh, crowd tu bago je, tepuk semacam, wah, you pun semangat je. So I, I, I always take refuge in writing because writing will make me more sober. Betul, betul. I agree. Datuk, bila Datuk tadi cakap uh, politik ni can be quite lonely kan uh, saya dapat rasakan itu uh, satu perasaan yang macam agak sayu dalam diri Datuk tu kan tapi kan uh, dia cakap pasal politik kan siapa antara um, individu politik yang Datuk masih lagi boleh bercakap duduk semeja berbincang tentang polisi baik daripada opposition ke mahupun uh, ruling parti? Well, uh, sekarang ni oleh kerana COVID ni jarang jarang berjumpa, uh, jarang uh, apa namanya berbincang dan kebetulan pula 17 bulan yang lalu hirup <laughs> uh, hirup politik itu tak bagi banyak kesempatan. Tapi kalau hmm. saya boleh sebut beberapa nama in the opposition yang saya boleh at any time boleh duduk bincang will be people like Dr Mujahid Yusof Rawa daripada Amanah. Uh, people mm-hmm. like uh, Ong Tiang Meng, uh, people like mm. uh, Lee Ching Tong, yeah. uh, Amin, MP Amin daripada Perlis, uh, dari oh. PKR. Uh, okay. Itu, ya yeah, saya, saya minta maaf kalau saya terlupa beberapa nama yang lain. Uh, tapi uh, ini teman-teman yang uh, masa saya UMNO dulu pun saya berkata, saya boleh saya bersembang dengan mereka masa saya PH apa tak lagi dan bila saya dah tinggalkan PH pun uh, masih boleh uh, ber berwhatsapp dan uh, saya yakin uh, kalau ada peluang uh, dengan teman-teman ini sebagai contoh lah ya sebagai contoh uh, boleh duduk bincang uh, Maria Chin seorang lagi yes. yang uh, yang yang apa namanya Kasturi Patu oh banyak ni kan sebut lagi lah <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I do have, I do have, uh, uh, apa namanya beberapa orang MPs from the opposition side Bagus. yang uh, I enjoy talking to and discussing, and we used to meet over, over, uh, yeah, over policies in the past. No. Hmm. Sebenarnya ini satu satu Sorry. sisi uh, politician yang kita tak tahu, yang kita perlu ambil tahu sebab ini sebenarnya jadi mungkin satu platform penyatuan untuk kita semua. Tak semua benda yang kita nampak bergaduh depan-depan dekat parlimen tu satu benda yang uh, ialah bukanlah realiti, ya realiti tapi luarnya pun ada juga yang kita tak nampak sisi yang patut kita lihat yang mereka ni boleh duduk berbincang mengenai polisi kan Datuk kan? Ya dan itu kita kena galakkan lagi sebab itu pendekatan hmm. bipartisan Uh, dalam politik itu mustahak uh, dan kemampuan untuk kita duduk dan berbincang uh, tadi itu cuma beberapa nama saya saya kalau saya apa ni senaraikan mungkin ada lagi yang 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 begitu dan uh, dan mungkin juga dan saya percaya ada juga nama-nama lain uh, tapi mereka bukan dengan saya tapi mungkin dengan uh, tokoh-tokoh uh, politik di sebelah kerajaan yang lain juga yang yang kita perlu lakukan ialah kita kena galakkan ini supaya berlaku dengan lebih kerap dan sehingga melahirkan uh, budaya politik baru yang bipartisan yang segar uh, jadi bila bertemu itu tidaklah asyik bermasa muka tapi uh, banyak benda yang boleh uh, boleh dibincangkan bersama demi kepentingan rakyat amin insyaallah Nice, nice, nice. That's all, I mean, since we speaking of characters lah, nanti I, I rasa Hana and I rasa lepas ni, you're going to get a few WhatsApp lah. Eh, you lupa saya ke? <laughs> mention <laughs> I. Lupa nak mention nama kita lah. <laughs> so, tapi Datuk, besok hari Malaysia, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, Datuk boleh cerita, in terms of Malaysian history, sejarah Malaysia, is there one particular character in Malaysian history that is your inspiration that makes you want to work harder and smarter every day to make our nation great i mean ada tak well uh, banyak orang sebut tentang uh, tun razak uh, kalau tokoh politik saya fikir tun razak itu tokoh yang uh, luar biasa uh, 
dan yang paling uh, mustahak di samping segala contribution beliau ialah kita kena ingat uh, apabila Tun Razak meninggal dunia dia bukan orang kaya itu yang saya saya sangat tertarik dengan Tun dan uh, cerita bagaimana apabila dia duduk di Seri Perdana masa tu dekat Lake Garda, uh, dekat KL eh uh, Seri Perdana yang original itu nama resident nama rumah rasmi PM itu sejak azal sejak dulu lagi dipanggil Seri Perdana apabila anak-anak uh, minta uh, buat swimming pool dia kata boleh tapi kita kena duit sendirilah you know that kind of you know character itu memang itu betul-betul uh, apa kita panggil uh, 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 figura yang boleh menjadi uh, uh, menjadi teladan ya itu sukar dicari zaman sekarang ni Something that we should ponder, eh, Datuk? Yes, yes, yes. Humility. Yes, Datuk. Ha, betul. Datuk, okay. Uh, Datuk dah, dah bagi tahu siapakah figura yang Datuk ingin contohi sebagai seorang pemimpin. Seterusnya, what of Malaysia do you want us to become moving forward? Well, uh, ideally speaking, uh, Malaysia yang dia bila kita berjumpa tu, uh, kita tak kira lah uh, you ni Melayu ke, Cina ke, Iban ke, Kadazan, Muslim atau bukan Muslim bila kita minum bersama tu kita tahu saja, kita kita pandai sendiri uh, kalau kita duduk dengan orang Hindu kita tahu je kita tak makan uh, apa namanya daging lembu depan dia uh, dia tak boleh cakap uh, uh, dan uh, begitu juga sebaliknya dan uh, dan sebenarnya kita pernah ada ini zaman saya sekolah sekolah rendah saya sekolah di sekolah rendah Abu Bakar Mentakap uh, sekolah itu masa itu aliran Inggeris dan murid-murid bercampur Melayu Cina dan India dan uh, mak cik kantin saya Cina the, the, the canteen operator was a Chinese lady uh, tapi dia tahu apa yang dia boleh jual apa yang dia tak boleh jual dan kami Uh, tak pernah tanya pun halal tak halalnya sebab kami tahu it has been taken care of uh, the school uh, 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 mengawasi semua benda itu tapi bila sekarang ni saya pergi ke beberapa buah SJKC yang di situ ada pelajar Melayu ada dua kantin uh, kantin untuk orang Islam dan kantin orang uh, orang bukan Islam so uh, kita sebenarnya dah ghostan <laughs> Uh, kita dah undur uh, dari segi kefahaman hidup secara harmoni dan apabila ada statement-statement tertentu yang dibuat oleh setengah-setengah orang uh, kita macam tak begitu memahami sama juga kedudukan kita walaupun saya kata sekarang ni jauh lebih baik dari dulu namun sesekali bila orang uh, Sabah dan orang uh, Sarawak bercakap tentang orang Semenanjung tu ada masa dia tersasur juga Malaya kan uh, kemudian bila orang Semenanjung pula bercakap oh kita ni merayakan Hari Malaysia di mana kita telah menubuhkan Malaysia uh, yang di dalamnya termasuk Sabah dan Sarawak weh 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 tak boleh guna ayat itu lagi uh, ataupun uh, uh, dia menganggap Sabah dan Sarawak itu negeri uh, sedangkan Sabah dan Sarawak itu pada dasarnya adalah sebuah wilayah yang merdeka dan berdaulat ketika menubuhkan Malaysia bersama-sama dengan Semenanjung. Jadi ini adalah perkara-perkara fundamental. Sedikit-sedikit uh, masih ada tapi saya tahu uh, kebelakangan ini orang makin faham. Namun Malaysia yang sebenar itu kita pernah ada Malaysia itu dan saya rasa bukanlah sukar untuk kita uh, mengulanginya sambil kita juga melonjak ke depan untuk jadi lebih baik. Nice, nice, nice. Well, Setuju. Uh, Saya faham maksud Datuk tu sebab uh, Ben, kita kita percaya bila times are getting tougher, I think people will be a lot kinder and nicer. Because I dah nampak uh, dari segi contoh macam rakyat Malaysia ni dalam waktu yang susah ni mereka lebih memahami dan mereka lebih uh, apa ni berihsan dengan satu sama lain pada pandangan saya lah insyaallah good, good, good point good point very very good point well hmm. uh, i mean like it's been a really really uh, great sharing from dato and really good points and great questions by you my friend tapi i nak tanya dua lagi soalan two more questions for dato tapi one okay. question, basketball question 
one question in advice da, agak ada uh, one question is uh, the uh, the advice question sebelum you know we, i mean harim malaysia is not very far away it's all, it's about i'm looking at my watch now it's about you know uh, nine ish and then just in a few uh, more mm-hmm. hours from malaysia tapi na, i mean mm-hmm. you asked brilliant questions to dato malam ni good job any uh, do you want to further elaborate on anything else before i speak about the bouncy bouncy ball Okay, I'm curious about this, about this basketball thingy. Sebab setahu saya, Datuk Saifuddin ni adalah uh, from Malay College. Okay, budak college ni biasanya yang diorang main adalah rugby, uh, hockey maybe lah. Tapi tak pernah I dengar pasal basketball. Tiba-tiba I tahu Datuk Saifuddin minat basketball. Like, what? <laughs> Can you please explain mana datang minat ni? <laughs> okay, uh, saya sebenarnya main basketball masa saya sekolah rendah. I was the only Malay in the team uh, those days. But tak adalah, team tu tak adalah kuat sangat. Uh, but that's how I started. Bila saya pergi Malay College, so naturally I I, I, I continue playing. Uh, yeah, uh, memanglah uh, sampai sekarang pun uh, MCKK ni dia punya nama one game is rugby. Betul. Uh, rugby is king lah. Rugby is king dekat sana. So, so basketball walaupun uh, kami selalu kata eh kami lagi banyak menang competition dari rugby tapi kita kita, kita kena terima lah. Uh, <laughs> Malay College is the college of rugby. So jangan argue. Uh, <laughs> tapi uh, dia uh, sebenarnya bukan saja MCKK. Uh, semua SBP ada basketball team. Dan ini bermula pada tahun 1974. Apabila kali pertama diadakan pertandingan uh, bola keranjang Piala Hamdan Tahir untuk lelaki dan uh, juga untuk perempuan uh, Piala Zainab dan uh, mulai itu setiap tahun ada pertandingan di peringkat uh, zon dan kebangsaan dan mulai itu sehingga sehari ini kita mula melahirkan pemain-pemain bola keranjang bukan Cina saya kena sebut itu buat sementara waktu kerana hari ini masih lagi di uh, basketball di Malaysia masih didominasi oleh uh, kaum Cina tetapi MABA sudah semakin aktif uh, mengintegrasikan semua kaum uh, dalam dalam uh, sukan bola keranjang ini band tahulah ya yeah. dan uh, saya rasa band kita dah ada more than 500,000 i think non chinese who yes, play yes. basketball Betul. well yeah play basketball well eh? bukan main main tak tentu arah uh, tidaklah sampai standard uh, national team atau state team tapi but they can play well they can Betul. play well and they enjoy it and they they follow nba ke abl and asean basketball ini band lah taiko taiko pr dia mm. <laughs> uh, dan uh, and our Oh yes, before I forget, I must make this statement. Basketball, especially the girls team, have won probably more gold medal than soccer in the sea game. Whoa! <coughs> oh yeah, uh, and the girls are doing much better than the boys. Hell <laughs> uh, <laughs> power. And yeah, and 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 uh, our dream team uh, was the national team for uh, yang menang gold medal 2015. Uh, sea game 2015 and 2017. You know why, Hana? No, why? <laughs> Ini ada pindah mengenai dengan Hari Malaysia. Uh, dalam tim itu ada pemain ha- dari hampir semua negeri. Uh, uh, ada wow. yang dari Sarawak oh, juga. Masya Allah. And, and then, and, and the first five, uh, you ada tiga pemain Cina, seorang pemain India, center, Kalai, dan seorang point guard and the captain of the team is that it wow you're giving me goosebumps so today i learned something about basketball women basketball <laughs> wow thank you so much wow <laughs> bangga sih bangga <laughs> no tapi i i mean for those of you who are unaware dato and i share a love of basketball we both contributed a lot to the malaysian basketball ecosystem And I just want to say this because I know Datuk will not say this. Dia malu sangat tu humble because Datuk tak ada ego macam ni kata tadi. But Datuk has helped Malaysian basketball sangat-sangat getting grants, uh, getting connections to sponsors, uh, trying to get leeway to buka jalan for more tournaments, especially for the women's team. Yeah, A lot of credit has to go to Datuk 
uh, that gold medal, half of that gold medal should belong in his office. Lah. Okay, over the years, because I uh, find the team with uh, tournaments, sponsors, you name it. Lah. Sorry, Dato, I malu use it and I want to put you on the spot. Tapi, uh, on behalf of Malaysian basketball, on behalf of Maba, terima kasih, Dato, for helping our sport. Like you said, it's we are just uh, finding a way to get up there. There's about 67,000 followers and likes on Maba Punya Facebook. More popular than the other social media sports sports of other Malaysian sports so and a lot of that has to be credited to Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah but one thing good about Datuk he never takes credit they, 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 they tolong and they, they senyap senyap he said don't, don't make a big song and dance about it so that, that's why we are forever grateful lah, Datuk for you in terms of basketball tapi Datuk I have to ask this serious question lah. okay Alhamdulillah our women's team is good our men's team is slowly improving getting there tapi foreign ministry issue okay you look at the other countries you look at the Philippines, it's predominantly a foreign team. Sorry, my Filipino friend who told me after this, but it's true, it's a fact. You look at yeah. Thailand, they have a women's NBA player, you know, and you know, I don't think she has spent longer than a few years, but she has a passport and everything. And it's not just basketball, it's other sports as well. So I always said this before to Tan Sri Norza, we continue to play by the rules, but we keep getting beaten. The rules mm. always change and other countries win. How can we do this, Dato? Uh, because I know our culture is that, hey, no, 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 only one passport. We can only have one passport. No such thing as dual citizenship. Okay, fair. You know, we are proud to be Malaysian and all that. But we suffer. What's your views? Yeah. Well, um, during the PH administration, uh, Syed Sadiq, uh, managed to convince cabinet to start thinking about naturalized player and I think kita dah mula dengan soccer dan uh, saya rasa uh, pasukan lain termasuk uh, basketball juga harus fikir perkara ini uh, cuma uh, kalau saya punya pandangan walaupun kita boleh uh, I, I'm not against having uh, naturalized player tetapi kita juga kena ada uh, kena buat dengan waspada so that uh, local talent itu di 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 apa ni dibangunkan sekaligus for example kalau basketball uh, kalau, kalau kita nak ambil naturalized talent i would say look uh, for the time being ambil the big girls and the big boys dululah untuk center dan maybe uh, untuk buat apa twin tu untuk dia punya forward uh, tapi kalau uh, shooting guard dan uh, dan apa namanya uh, point guard pun nak ambil uh, foreigner dan mana mana pergi talent talent dah sorry lah Hana ini guna sebab maksud dia dalam basketball ni immediatenya ialah memang kita kena ada big girls and big boys yang jadi center tu uh, itu our first priority jadi kalau nak ambil naturalized player cari yang, cari yang itu dulu tapi uh, any basketball team in the world the point guard are normally tidak terlalu tinggi and we have enough uh, 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 apa namanya player with that high and and this that kind of talent jadi janganlah sampai uh, semuanya itu uh, kita ambil jalan pendek pula jangan ambil jalan pendek atau jalan pintas untuk menang therefore kita ambil pemain-pemain uh, daripada uh, apa ni naturalized player and specifically for basketball uh, yeah we can always continue having naturalized player tapi uh, kita juga kena buat buat semula. Dulu kita pun nak buat tall talent. So we stop doing tall talent. Jadi kita tak nurture the tall player untuk certain uh, specific position. So we have to, we have, I mean, yes, I'm all for naturalized player. Uh, tapi we have to do it uh, very cautiously so that kita tak, uh, so that at the same time we develop our own, our own talent, local talent. Nice, nice, nice. Well, now we've come. Okay, lah. I rasa, Ben, I rasa kita dah boleh sc uh, instead of scouting for um, female <laughs> models, dah boleh start scouting for female players lah. Yeah, betul, betul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, Ben. No, no, no. Look, I've come to the, to we've come to almost the tail end. Anything? Uh, oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, anything Alah, else. Okay, I banyak juga nak tanya. Okay, Datuk terakhirlah. Mungkin harapan Datuk sempena hari Malaysia esok dan mungkin pesanan Datuk kepada semua rakyat Malaysia yang sedang mengikuti uh, Great People TV on Facebook. Apa Datuk nak sampaikan, nak pesan kepada mereka yang mengikuti uh, kita sekarang ni, Datuk? 
Ya, saya rasa kita ni uh, memanglah musim pandemik kita harap kita dapat selesaikan tangani dengan sebaik-baiknya dan juga uh, kita boleh uh, memulakan kegiatan ekonomi secara lebih terancang, secara lebih aktif. Tapi generally speaking, uh, on the whole, uh, Malaysians are better than uh, what we are today. Uh, we we used to be there before, and and I'm sure we can do that again. So kalau apa namanya, ada satu lagu saya tak ingat apa lagu ni, tapi ini Faizal Tahir yang nyanyi. Dia ada satu line itu, we are better than this. Uh, I, I, I believe strongly that we are better than what we are today and we can together do uh, uh, very well in it. InsyaAllah, insyaAllah. Ben? Yeah. Dato, you, do you have any, can you sing us one line of your favourite Malay lagu dah, Malaysian lagu dah? <laughs> Satu line aja. Kepajar lagi tu lah. Nanti segala persiapan yang dibuat oleh apa ni kerajaan uh, Sabah untuk sambut uh, Hari Malaysia besok uh, terganggu. <laughs> <laughs> tak capai KPI nanti kot dia tu. <laughs> Bukan tak capai KPI. Kalau saya nyanyi walau satu baris pun dia terbalik semua KPI. <laughs> so kasih chance okay lah. <laughs> Tuh, tak ada lah. One night. Ha, tak ada lah. Oh, so main basketball lah lepas ni. Main memang, basketball lepas memang, ni lah. Memang kalau saya, ya, saya memang boleh menyumbangkan lagu. <laughs> Maksud Dato' menyumbangkan lagu tu Ben, memang sumbang lah nanti Ben. Yeah, Jangan. You don't, you don't want to go there Ben. <laughs> you don't want to go there. <laughs> malu tu, <tuk>, malu. <laughs> <laughs> Dato, it's been a really good chat with you We had a really good conversation Very feel good one And uh, dapat Thank rasa you. lah semangat Malaysia tu InsyaAllah moving forward untuk hari esok Kita pun tak sabar nak raikan hari Malaysia uh, Pada hari esok Ben, do you have anything to say last word from you Ben? Dato, Dato, I just want to say thank you so much And thank you to your yep. staff been working with me They're my friends as well I mean, you're very busy schedule but You've always been friendly, you know, always looking out for, I mean, you look, looking out for me and everything like that. So, thank you so much. My Kirim Salam to your family. You have a good uh, Malaysia Day. I know it's you're still working and I know you're an ultimate workaholic. You never stop working. Okay, I know that for a fact. But uh, make sure you take some time to relax as kid. And thank you so much for your time. Too. We'll catch up soon lah when yeah. the times we shoot a yeah. few hoops. <laughs> Thank you. Ya, salah Thank silap you. minta maaf Datuk bagi pihak kami. Salah silap minta maaf ya. Selamat Hari Malaysia. Alright, Ben. That's it. Kita ada, ada Datuk Saifuddin sebentar tadi. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoy our conversation with Datuk Saifuddin Abdullah. For those of you who just tune in, tune in, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our Facebook page, Great People TV. Ben? Uh, well said, now you summed it up really, really perfectly. Now, good job moderating tonight in terms of Malay. English. You too, Ben. Good job, good job. So, everybody, don't I forget. I hear a lot for style basketball hari ni tau. I'll teach Thanks you. Thanks to you and Dato. I'll teach <laughs> you. Invite Dato. But, so, everybody out there, please stay safe and don't forget Great People TV. Alhamdulillah, we are more consistent now. We are working hard to get good guests from good guests, successful guests from business, entertainment, sports, technology, other industries, politics. Uh, please keep giving us feedback and, you know, feedback makes the dream work. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, you take care. Yes, Assalamualaikum and good night. Stay safe. Bye.